Hey, it's me. I'm JC. Just my JC, and this is a little bit of an intro. Today is gonna be different. I'm going to give you a hair talk. Yes, a hair porn talk. You know, like a sex talk, but like hair porn. <laughs> All right, see me in a few, and I got. I'll be right back with you. I'm back. So as you know, this is hair porn. And yes, I'm wearing my glasses. So I'm doing this literally on the same day I'm doing my porn up. So basically last I kind of gave a discussion about was texture. Sometimes I want you to realize for all those out there that have like different textures and stuff like that, how do you like combat it? What's the best things you can use for it? It's something that is needed to be discussed with you because I feel like a lot of people ask the question, is there pros and cons for every method that I use for every method you use? And truly, yes. There's different things that also affects a lot of our hair. Like, as you know, we all have textured hair. Truly, everyone has textured hair from someone that's type one, which is just straight hair, just plain straight hair, to type two, wavy hair, type three, curly hair, and type four, coily hair. Those are four different hair types. Those are the four different hair types. And everything has its own group, where it's like a different body wave, different waves. It's type 2A, 2B, 2C. And then there's type 3A. 3A is kind of like loosely kind of curls, but it's still curls. Like as you see my hair right now, I am, as you know, I'm 3B, 3C, and 4A. Yes, <laughs> those are my three hair types and my own hair type for myself that I know of. Now, that being said, some people are probably like, well, you have coily hair. Some people will tell you, maybe you do have this type of hair. And a lot of people actually for YouTube do all say they have coarsey hair. So a lot of that happens because clickbait and people ask questions on clickbait. That's another discussion. And this is not about that. A lot of people want to say that they have that type of hair. Main reason why is because they get more of y'all watching. And it's really about, it's funny because there's so much more than just hair types that you got to pay attention to. It's actually my hair, my hair consistency is yours. If we do have the same hair type, then if you look at my hair, but is my hair as thick as yours? Do I have the same hair strands as you? Is my hair thinner than yours? And y'all, what does that mean? That means this, as you see my hair, it looks full. But for some people, my hair looks a little bit thin because as you can see, I have to care my book. But... Textbooks, some people will say my hair isn't the like I have more fine texture compared to coarse texture. Coarse texture does not actually mean in the four range. It really means that your hair is thicker. And yes, fine hair is what it's also called. And as you see, I'm gonna keep moving my hair because it's it's a difference. It's different because it's like the I'm I'm just like having fun with it. There's so much to talk about when it comes to your own hair type and stuff like that. And a lot of things come with that is hair maintenance. What I want to talk about real quickly right now for y'all all out there is hair maintenance. This is really what this video is talking about. What you do to your hair actually sometimes helps you define your curls. And actually sometimes you're like, I don't see my curls. And it's like, but what are you using? And a lot of that is because some people are using still the stuff that people gave up. And one thing that everyone kind of gave up on when you became natural was petroleum. What is petroleum? If you want to ask the question, you know how people cancel Eco Styler? People cancel petroleum first. Petroleum is grease, <laughs> hair grease, and last but not least, I'm trying to look for it, Vaseline. Vaseline is great for your face, and also it's funny because Vaseline, if you put it Vaseline in your scalp, that's the same thing. Now, the reason why petroleum is such a detriment thing because sometimes it can hold and it can press and literally say your scalp, like see my scalp right there, say you put that on your scalp and you notice like a few days later that it's still on your scalp, that means your hair may not breathe. For a lot of people, when they went natural, they gave up a lot of products. I actually did a cleanse when I first went natural, and a lot of people ask the question, like, what does that mean? A lot of people ask the question, like, what is natural, what isn't? A lot of people, and that's weird to say because it's like a lot of stuff naturally now, 
will tell you what's in the product. And there's some names that you can't pronounce that people say, all right, get rid of it. Or like sulfate free is another thing that people like that's bad for you. And truly, it's a, that's a weird discussion itself. I actually do use sulfate free shampoos and conditioners. Personally, it's just me. And also, what I want you also to know is that I'm no heat. So, I don't really need the soap. I don't need like sulfate and silicone because I'm no heat. So, technically, everything you see from my hair is just that. Because I'm no heat, that means there's no, there's no, all my heat is because of the air. That means truly, there's no blow dryer that comes on my hair at all. All you see truly, truly, is because of manipulation of my own hair and that my hair stretches on its own. Like my hair being this big, that's because I've been like this for like the last hour or two at work. And truly my hair was already this big. It's just as it dries, as I told you before, <laughs> once your hair sets, it sets. And the reason why y'all have to know that and learn that really quickly is because your hair, because you have texture hair, and a lot of people don't know this, but especially in the black and Latino community, most Latino communities that have curly curly hair are mostly in tight like type um let's see i would say like mostly 2c like 2c 2c 3a and on down all the way to 4c once your hair expands it will expand and literally you're like oh but what about shrinkage sometimes shrinkage does matter sometimes it doesn't i've used products right now that are mainly for my hair to stretch and also i'm cool with my hair stretching I don't really do the whole like I'm gonna just keep it at my lash for um link retention. Link retention is a real, real real word. What you realize is this: when your hair literally is dry, or when it finally calms down, like my hair is still a little moist, as you can see, but at the same time, it's at its point where it's gonna stay just like this. And I'm cool with it, but at the same time, if you're like, well, what about your curls? If you look at my hair now. Both sides, you can see that my hair texture, all all three textures I just told you that I have, the 3B, the 3C, and the 4A, all three of my textures are all around my hair. So technically, I'm cool with that. And actually, as you stretch more and more, your hair will come, let me get to the side. Like, okay, right here. Now, say if I stretch more, and you stretch a little bit more, your hair's gonna stay just like that. You see how much you stretch it out, and how you look? That's elasticity of how it goes back. And also, what's most important for y'all to understand is elasticity can be broken because of heat and also because of over manipulation. So, honestly, this conversation for hair maintenance is something you have to figure out for yourself. What I do for hair maintenance personally is do my LOC two to three times a week. Also, I let my wash day be when I start my LOC process. Because after my wash day, I still use my liquid. My liquid is Albert Juice. And then I go my oil, uh, oil mix. I make my own custom DIY oil mix. And lastly, I add my own cream. My cream is either leave-in conditioner or it's creamier when it comes to a smoothie. <laughs> yes, or truly a butter. Those are kind of my natural, just three C's. Now, all that being said, if you do not do the same thing as I do, then it's not considered an LOC. To me, there is a different version of LLC where products have all three of those. And some people tell you a lot of products multiply as one. That's true. Hair maintenance is something that you have to choose upon yourself. Now, that's just like wash day happening every week, every two weeks. It's your schedule. It's how you make it. When you are being nicer to your hair or you really listen to your hair and see how long your hair can go. Or if you're used to having it done every week, keep going every week. Now, that being said, if you know your hair and you're like looking at it and you're feeling it and you're feeling it like through and through, searching all over, and your hair still can last another week, if you choose to, do it every two weeks. But at the same time, that's your choice. The reason why this is a conversation is because you have to realize what hair maintenance is, is your own schedule. A lot of us actually will tell you this over time. You have to build your own regimen. Your regimen helps your hair the most. And it's something that I cannot stress the most. Stretch at all. Stretch. <laughs> stretch. Stress <laughs> enough that you have to figure out your schedule for your own hair. My hair schedule is pretty much a little rigorous because A, I have a lot of it. And B, I like kind of like sometimes just changing it up. 
And you see that I'm changing up so many times, just moving it back and forth. What you have to figure out for yourself on a time, honestly, is what kind of time do we have for it? When you do wash day, do you have all day to do wash day? Is it just a few hours? Is these few hours going to get you a wash, a wash day where you're going to have your style? Is your wash day this? And you're like, oh my God, that's so much. Yes. That's why this is a hair talk. And the reason why, because you have to figure out your information. You have to go with step one, step three, step three, step four. And say for me, my step one, say even for wash day, my wash day is detangle. I detangle and put my hair in twist. Then I add, and sometimes my detangle and hair, my hair in twist is with a co-wash. Recently, I did a co-wash while my hair, my hair was in co-wash while I was like detangling. And then I did my shampoo, conditioner, and I didn't even do my mask. My last, my recent one, I didn't even do my mask. So it was step one, detangle. Step two, shampoo, conditioner, if need be, deep condition. And then that's all step, that's just step two. Step three for me, <laughs> literally is going from having that to have my conditioner as that been washed out and then going to style. And then step four, whether I want it to be styled, how I want it to be styled, like say for me, I go with like, I did like jumbo twist. For my jumbo twist, I didn't do this on camera, so this is a talk. <laughs> for my jumbo twist, all right, how do I want it? Okay, a twist out. So the tip three is how I'm styling it, but then step four doesn't happen to the next day or the day after. And that's kind of how it goes for it. You ask that question like, why is that so important? Because you have to figure out your balance for your hair. And then one step four happens of when a twist out or whatever hairstyle you choose to, when you take your hair out of the protective style that you chose, if you choose a protective style, if you just go curly, you go curly. Wash and goes, wash and styles are you're just letting your hair be what it is after you wash day. And then you do your maintenance. Some people do maintenance every two days. Some people do maintenance once a week. Sometimes your maintenance is just doing a lighter wash day with doing a, <sighs> doing kind of like a wash day, but like a mini wash day where you're not really using, like you're using a two-in-one. A two-in-one is a cold wash. That, that being need to be said. So actually you have to figure out your schedule for your hair. If you have a midday. Now if you don't have a midday and you have your wash day set, keep that same wash day and actually you should see growth. The reason why I'm telling you that you should make sure you have your own hair regimen is because you're going to see that your hair will grow and grow and grow. I can't tell you what to use your hair. Honestly, the reason why, because you have to explore your options. From my new natural to the person that's in my that stage at the same year one, year two, year three, year four, to a person that hairs down there, we all have to figure out our regimens, and our regimens do change. My regimen has changed immensely, and my schedule will probably keep happening where I will keep changing it. The reason why, and it's just about being consistent with it. Right now, my hair's out. Yes, it is. <laughs> and honestly, for a few days, my hair was wrapped up and then my hair was in a bun my hair was my hair's been in buns mainly and um that's just because i like it that way and then i let my hair breathe and my hair's breathing right now but literally when i go to sleep guess what happens <laughs> you see this right here <laughs> this is how my hair is about to be like in a few minutes well we'll do this on camera right now and i'm just going to do like a big old up top knot mind no mind glasses and you just go like this and literally this is how i sleep basically and this is actually weird because, like, this is it. That's kind of the thing about it. Sometimes what I want y'all to realize, when you are doing a natural hairstyle, if you're becoming natural or if you're, like, frustrated, is your regimen is it. If you trust your regimen, go back to the basics. If you don't have one, set up your own regimen because this is for yourself. That's the thing about it. It's just all for self. If you can't figure this out, give yourself time. Talk to a professional. Talk to another natural friend. Talk to a, you know, like that's the thing about it. Or talk to me. Leave your comments down below or add me on Facebook. Add me on anything. I will talk with you about every single thing because guess what? I'm here for you. Some people have dandruff issues. There are special things you have to do for that. There's things that you have to do for a lot of other things. And that's also on wash day. 
There are some things you have to do midweek because of your, you know, it's a lot. <laughs> but it's simpler than you think. It's a lot when you don't, when you're, you're just like in your head. When you talk about it, you have to talk yourself two things. I told myself last week, it was Thursday, <laughs> and I was like, and I was like right here. I was like at one of my hair, and I was like trying to detangle, and I was like, just, just let it go. And I was like, no, can't do that. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, I have to make sure I can maintain my hair by myself. Yes, it's cool to go to professionals, but if you can't afford it, or if you're trying your best to understand your hair, you kind of have to bite, bite that bullet. Now, this is a hair talks, so I'm going to give my second to give y'all a little feedback. Okay, so if you learned anything, please give me a thumbs up, give me a like. If you made it through the end of the video, because this is longer than normal. Well, not for real, this hair point is always longer. Tell me how do you feel about this? Because because I'm gonna try my best to do this next month as well, then I'm gonna talk about a different topic always. But end of the day, I want you to understand that your hair matters. Your hair is a part of who you are. This is your crown. Whether if you're in your new stage of your crown being very small, whether you like your crown very small, to you having dreads, having any type of hairstyle that you have that illocates yourself, whether you're a natural or not, you all have to figure out your own hair regimen. That is a key thing for all because end of the day, your hair regimen is going to keep your hair here and also it's going to make everything so much easier for yourself self matters you matter and your hair matters a lot because your hair is a part of who you are this is your crown this is your glory and i want you to understand first and foremost and always last that you matter to me always first last every single day your views matter a lot to me and i'm grateful for every last one of them especially with hair point because y'all go all out for me like when i say I always get shocked, like I'm at 50 views at times where I was like, I didn't know if you was going to even do this. So I'm so grateful. <laughs> End of the day, hair regimen has to be a must. I talked about mine. <laughs> I'm down to hear yours. Leave the comments down below. Tell me everything. And let's just have a great porn all day. You know what I mean? <laughs> Catch you later.